In light of rising global security challenges, NATO is stepping up its defense measures along its eastern border, focusing on joint operations in Romania. Since Russia's incursions into Ukraine in 2014 and again in 2022, NATO has reinforced its presence in the region, creating multinational tactical groups that strengthen deterrence and interoperability among member nations. In Romania, forces from Belgium, France, and other NATO countries are training side by side to enhance European security. Recently, in Sinku, Romanian Puma helicopters, French Leclerc tanks, and Belgian mortar units from the Prince Baudouin Grenadiers Carabiniers Battalion took part in a major exercise, showcasing the powerful coordinated response NATO can deliver. This group combines various expertise, illustrating how NATO allies bring together diverse capabilities to create a more resilient and flexible defense force. This tactical group, led by France, includes Belgian troops and will soon be joined by a Spanish contingent, adding to its strength. The Belgian 1C-1GR Infantry Battalion has been actively involved since June 2024, with specialized engineering, artillery, communication, medical, and logistic support. These additional units enhance the group's ability to tackle complex tactical challenges in the field. French Colonel Jean Michelin, the unit's commander, describes the group's two main missions. First, to deter potential aggression on NATO's eastern flank, and second, to remain ready to adopt a defensive posture if there's a direct threat, especially in Romania. Each NATO contingent brings unique strengths to the group. The French mechanized infantry, for instance, complements the lighter Belgian infantry, creating a balanced and highly adaptable force. Colonel Michelin highlights the significance of this multinational setup, which demonstrates advanced tactical coordination within NATO. This united front reinforces NATO's deterrent position, showcasing the alliance's readiness to operate cohesively when facing threats. As the lead nation, France also works closely with Belgium through the Motorized Capability, CAMO program, a project aimed at aligning the two countries' military capabilities. This partnership has led to stronger integration of Belgian units within the French-led tactical group in Romania. Belgian Lieutenant Colonel Van Dyck, who commands the 1C-1GR battalion and serves as the senior national representative of the Belgian detachment, explains the value of this collaboration. Our goal is to achieve a level of cohesion similar to a national unit. Over time, we've overcome language and system differences. After four months, we've achieved full integration, living up to the CAMO program's vision. This exercise marks a high point for the Belgian detachment's mission in Romania, as they prepare to hand over duties to the 12-13th Line Battalion, ensuring Belgium's continued support in NATO's deterrence mission. In a period of heightened geopolitical tension, the deployment in Romania is a testament to NATO's commitment to collective security. Through these combined efforts, NATO demonstrates its resilience and readiness to defend its members, highlighting the power of unity in the face of growing challenges. Thank you.